Okay, this is my 24 foot anvil cargo trailer that I've converted to a toy hauler. As you can see I've installed some cabinets up top. That's a queen size memory foam mattress that we strap on the wheel well on this side. Added two small windows, one over where the kitchen table goes when we set the table up. Put a camper door on it. Put cabinets up top. Yeah, that's a portable toilet just sitting there for now. Built these cabinets down on the bottom. Added a refrigerator that we strap down once it's moving. Another memory foam twin size mattress that hangs over the left wheel well. Mounted a 32 inch TV up there that we use and runs off of the high def uh, antenna. Works pretty well actually. 15,000 BTU uh, Coleman heater. Added two LED lights in it. And went with wooden floor. It was cheap, 99 cents a square foot. Uh, when it's clean, it makes it look pretty good. We also put a total of four electrical outlets in, all along the left side, one behind the mattress there, one up here, and a dual set up here at the kitchen area. Like I said, I learned some lessons on this. First and foremost, get help uh, if you're going to do one of these. I did probably 90% of the work on this myself. And it was extremely tough, probably stupid to do, because like I said, it's not perfect, but for our needs, it works out great. Um, if I was starting all over again, I would probably have the manufacturer go ahead and place the insulation in, have them run the electric, and have run the AC. It's well worth the extra cost for the time that it takes for you to do that. If you'll notice, I got vinyl boarding on the top, and I got bead board on the bottom of this trailer. Um, the problem was when I bought the trailer brand new, it had plywood walls. Uh, however, the manufacturer had screwed the plywood down so tight that the screws countersunk and they would just spin. So I couldn't pull them out. So I basically ripped all brand new wood siding out of this thing and then installed the insulation and went back with the uh, board that you guys see. Like I said, doing it all over again. I would pay them to go ahead and do the insulation, pay them to do the wood, and have them do the electrical and add the AC. It's well worth the money, trust me.